Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Enti and this is... <clears throat> excuse me, this is episode 13 of the Black Sun Syndicate Squadron Shootout. <clears throat> Still a little sick. Getting over it though, it's getting better. But uh, anyway, over here we have the Biped Brigade by Stoic Steve. Which is uh, making heavy use of drones and uh, a lot of gun. A lot, a lot of gun. These little guys, oh, they have missiles. There are a lot of guns on these things. But this, uh, this is actually the flagship, and the middle part there is actually a sub-vehicle of it held on by a, uh, a docking station, if I remember correctly. So they move together, and then you've got these two, these, these two things, which are the, uh, the other two vessels with the little drones attached. There's the main feature is gun, gun, and more gun. Ugh. And then over here we have the first Kriegsmarine fleet, which uh, looks like the, the the flagship here, battleship, packing a whole bunch of cram. Spawned a little low. Those crams aren't going to be very effective against airships, though, but it'll probably blow that base apart pretty easy, assuming it survives long enough to actually fire a couple of times. This little cruiser guy here. And it looks like this is also an airship. Little blimp. Fighter jet. Well, not jet, but you know what I mean. Does that, does that have a cram cannon, too? Yep, that is a cram. Or no, that's not a cram cannon. That's an advanced cannon. So you can see I've got a tail gun. Looks pretty cool, I like it. It's got these uh, side vented Deta blades on the airship. Oh, it's got two airships, two blimps. Okay. This one's bigger though. Also got a bunch of are those advanced cannons? Yes. This one's advanced cannons. Alright. Well, this is going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of destruction happening in just a moment. That is a lot of gun f uh, focused on the first Kriegsmarine. But we'll see what happens. We'll go ahead and get round one underway. Advanced cannons over here don't seem to be firing. Or are they? And I just can't see the shells because of degraded mode. Oh, there they go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is a lot of Sabo. This is a shower of Sabo shells. Oh yeah, I turned the grated mode off, duh. Good thing too, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see anything in this match. <laughs> that is a huge amount of Sabo. Flagship seems to be taking it decently well though. Like, I mean... It obviously can't do it forever, but uh, flagship of the first Kriegsmarine here is eating the shots. Let's get the uh, ooh, it's down to 76 percent, oh, 75 percent already. It's getting chewed up pretty bad. Here are those little fighters dropping their missile payloads these fast airships circling around. Just 
Man, that is a lot of Sabo. Just one of those vehicles is firing a lot, and there's three of them just filling the air with Sabo. It's like a shotgun of Sabo. <laughs> That missile just that missile just flew through the smokestack. <laughs> oh, it looks like they've switched target over here to the blimp. a little jumpy, but running fairly smoothly. Got a decent speed out of it. Ooh, big explosion there. Something important on the on this, uh, what is this? This is the uh, LZ-127 Graf Zeppelin. Something important there uh, got blown up. Jeez, Sabo is just punching straight through. Looks like fragments from missiles too. Did the uh no the flagship down there's still alive. I don't know how well it's you know able to fight anymore. Or no it's not alive, it has been AI deaded. It's despawning. Man, that is an overwhelming amount of Sabo. Kriegsmarine is just getting Sabo shotgun down one by one. I wonder if those guns are, uh, yeah, they're turreted. Okay, I was looking about to say, I wonder if they're fixed. Block count is falling because stuff is dying. It's getting a little bit faster. Just, holy crap, all that Sabo. Where is it actually fragmentation? I thought it was Sabo. I've been saying it's Sabo this whole time, but I keep seeing fragments. It's actually fragmentation. Whoops. I've been calling it Sabo this whole time. At least some of it's fragmentation. Some of those are definitely frag warheads, if not all of them. So it takes some uh, significant armor to be able to stand up to that. 
I think that is it. Yeah, that's it, folks. The uh, first Creek Marine fleet has been defeated. We'll go ahead and get this reset. I mean, we'll get round two underway. Oh, well, there's no submarines in this one, so I can just load them in here. Eventually. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is unfortunately a very bad matchup for the first Kriegsmarine. They are not, uh... They're not equipped to deal with uh, heavy air power like this. Alright, we'll go ahead and get round two underway. Let the bullet storm begin. comes. <clears throat> yeah, normally, the major downside of uh, fragmentation ammo is that striking at any sort of angle whatsoever on even a single metal beam is enough to see all the fragments bouncing off. Like, fragmentation is really mitigated by any sort of armoring whatsoever. Like, even a single metal beam is enough to make the fragments just bounce off and do minimal damage if they hit at any sort of angle. But there's just so many that even that minimal damage ends up stripping off blocks. <laughs> I thought it was Sabo before because of the color trail, but it turns out they're fragmentation. And you can see all of those... <coughs> excuse me. All of those uh, fragments... Just going flying everywhere when they don't uh, successfully penetrate. But once they wear out that... Uh, outer layer of armor things don't live long after that anything with heavy armor will be the biped brigade's worst nightmare though they will have one hell of a time whittling something like that down. But I don't think there's very much heavy armor use in this tournament, unfortunately. I don't think anybody expected like this huge of a frag storm. I sure didn't. Yeah, you can see that huge amount of frags that hit over here just now, and not really all that much damage. They do their damage through sheer numbers and rate of fire, it seems. Which, if uh, somebody built a particularly tanky flagship, and then has weaponry that can... Uh, get some of its own damage downrange in return 
the uh, at least the uh, the flagship the Scopio base and the Scopio top will probably uh, not fare too well because all of that APA all of those APS components are gonna want to explode unless they're direct input fed. They look like they're rather small APS, so that could be possible. Since this is mostly alloy and wood, frags will do very good against that. Holy crap, that was a lot of shells. <clears throat> I feel like the rate of fire might be a little bit too high. Well, no. No, actually, that's probably about right for direct input. I don't, I'm curious. I'd go check out and see if they're, uh, direct input fed if it wouldn't take me forever to get over there and look. But yeah, the uh, first Kriegsmarine is a lot of wood and then thin layers of <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Oh, that came out of nowhere. The first Kriegsmarine is uh, a lot of wood and uh, like single layer metal armor it looks like so fragmentation rounds are going to be rather effective against them but even with just that you saw how uh, how much damage that it actually took to kill them how many rounds it took so something with a little something a little heavier will probably fare a bit better against this entry but unfortunately, it looks like... Yep. I believe that is it. What is this? Is that the other... That's the other airplane. Apparently took a hit at some point and uh, got knocked out of the sky. It may have been hit by friendly fire. It's getting hit by friendly fire right now. And, oh, wait, no, that's the plane of the uh, first Kriegsmarine. Never mind. Well, uh, well, it was the plane of the first Kriegsmarine. Yep, that is it, folks. So, congratulations to Stoic Steve. Your biped brigade is moving on to round two of the squadron shootout primary bracket. Congolences to Arminor, your first Creek's Marine fleet, which I think that's the first time I've said your name. And, uh, I apologize for that. Whoops. Anyway, yeah, the first Creek's Marine fleet is by Arminor. My bad. Uh, my condolence is there. Uh, you'll be going down to the secondary bracket where you'll get to fight. Maybe you'll get to fight something a little less uh, uh, counter, you know, hard countering your fleet. Because this heavy air, like with all the cram cannons and everything, these these fast air airships and whatnot are just not what the Kriegsmarine wanted to face. <laughs> not at all. But anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the battlefield.